Like, even though I'm, I'm like, I got some weed in my pocket. You got a blunt, we can go outside, but. Yeah. What we got right here? Yeah, y'all already know who it is, your boy Kiss. Right now I'm with my nigga Travis Ford. You know what I mean? Where we come from, ain't nothing sweet. That's why niggas gotta hustle to get to the bag. Niggas die every day. But you already know the mission is to feed the family. It is. Trav got palm trees, but it's still hood. I got regular trees, but it's still hood. We coming all the way from Y.O. to South Central, East Side, L.A. Yo, Trav, talk to these niggas. Let them know how we coming. Straight heat. <laughs> Shout out to Jake Kiss on this one. The question I want to ask you was, who you still, who you still uh, rocking with from back in 2017, from man, the first studio? I was with SOD Money Gang at first, man, but it's some, some fuckery got on. You know, when Soldier Boy did all that shit and get off Mr. Get Off Me and shit, man, he really, he was kind of jocking my image, so they was taking a lot of shit that I was doing and saying, oh, we gonna do it for you, Travis, we gonna do it for you, Travis, and paint it on Soldier Boy, and paint it then. One thing I, but that pissed me off, I'm a big Michael Jackson fan, man. I got Michael Jackson tatted all over me. Right. I had an idea to go to these blogs, right? Mm -hmm. I had an idea to go to these blogs, I mean, uh, go to Michael Jackson's house. Mm -hmm. The original house in Indiana. He said, yeah, Travis, that's a good idea. Next thing you know, Soulja Boy was there. I said, oh, no, I gotta go now. Yeah. I gotta go. So I walked off that contract. They ain't, gonna, they ain't fucking with me. Mm-hmm. Uh, they not fuck with me, though. But other than that, it's the same people. You know, I used to do them events. I still do events, I still promo, I, just, I ain't gave up. This in the last year, rapping been really, really, really like working for me. Do you think when you separated yourself, that's when you took off? Yeah. Definitely. I set myself I separated from everything. From the street world, a lot of people, man, move, look different, talk this, dress a little different. You know, you send me the hoodie and sit down, you yeah. me, but I'm on the block. You yeah, like, this is where we at. Hood, gotta be but I see the block. videos, I see the graduation. Yeah, yeah, it's the hood with graduation. the palm tree right here, man. The hood with the palm tree, man. Three million views and counting. Feel me? A lot of blogs. Respect TV, all that, man. We come right, right here, man. Shout out my niggas that did their little blog on 69th and the East Coast, homie. Just did their little blog, uh, Nina Boy. Uh, man, shout out all them niggas, man. We see y'all going up in the beat. There it is. It's like that in this year, you feel me? <laughs> yeah, the East is up. We winning. And yeah. what's the next move for you? <laughs> Are you doing solo? You trying to get signed? What you gonna do? Now I'm, I'm, I'm putting all my content together. Like what they told me in the last year, I got a lot of content. It's time for me to control it. And uh, it's like this jam and shit like that. You feel me? Yeah. And just start shopping it to other things. You know, stuff like that. Name change? Yeah, name change. I had to do the name change. Ha <laughs> ha. Name change. HD Ford, and that was on the gang banging note. You know, that's my HD is more of my hood name. So, shout out Compton AV. He told me some real shit. Like, man, use your name. Travis Ford, Travis Scott, Kendrick Lamar. Like, nigga, it's way more marketable, and you're not dictated to no hood. There it is. There it is. And niggas are dying, too. Oh, man. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to everybody that died, man. Draco, Sam 400. I fuck with Draco. Draco kind of did music in my um, 98, you feel me? Draco came to the house like did music, you feel me? And niggas used to talk about Draco, man, like, oh, man, that shit garbage, that shit did. You see what happened? He changed the fucking game. That boy changed the game. That's a big Draco. But I knew Slim more on a personal level. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? More on a personal level. That's a big Slim, you feel me? He's a good nigga right there. All this shit going on, you feel me? I need to put an end to it though, but I can one thing to say about this, about LA, South Central LA, and everybody, oh, don't come to LA, oh, LA is this and that, uh, it, it's still the same, it ain't never changed, we got this internet now, we got this media to where you can actually see these motherfuckers getting killed, the 
Mm -hmm. See, the same shit been going on for years. This shit ain't changed, but now we got this media, and you can actually see these motherfuckers dying, and see these motherfuckers doing, you know, uh, uh, who killed who, and phone calls, and this and that, that and that, like, it just changed, like, so all you people that are scared to come to L.A., man, L.A. ain't changed a bit, the same L.A. There it is. <laughs> we just, you know, motherfucker, Raymond Washington was killed on the next street. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. is where East Side Griffin started. He just, we walk these streets every day. Mm -hmm. You feel me? With no problems. Just walking up and down just now. Y'all see the interview. Y'all yeah. see us. Shout, shout out to Peace Raymond Washington, man. We right on his stumping ground. We're border on the East Side Crips, man. Where everything started right here. Tookie Williams. He got killed on 64. This way. <laughs> L this way. <laughs> this way. <laughs> yeah. So, who you want to work with coming up? You look forward right to working with. I got a new song with Spice One, the new Where I Come From. I got another version of um, Where I Come From, the New York version with Jada Kiss. Uh, right now, I got one working with DW Flame. That's yeah. what we're working right now. Me and DW Flame got some shit going on. It's a lot of people. Like, we got a lot of shit going on. I'm actually dropping three mixtapes next week because I got a lot of unreleased music. I sent you a couple of them. Yep. A lot of unreleased music that's ready to go. I'm just like, got it in my phone. So I said, I'm going to do something else that a lot of people ain't doing. So one thing about me, I've been doing this music for a year now, and I'm trying to top myself. There it I is. I did 100 shows last year. I went crazy. And then the whole pandemic, I've been sure You look at all my videos, say a year. I don't say a year and this. I don't say two years. Everything is lined up. Because I'm right. just not stop doing everything in the last, every month. I've been working, 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 working. There working. it is. You feel me? So, yeah, just put that hard work. Mm -hmm. Hard work, man. So where are we going to see you at next? Where we got a show or? Oh, I got a show with Killer Twine. Oh, yeah, I forgot, man. Shout out my name, Killer Twine. We're going to drop it low tour right now. We did one date already. That's right. On Chris Charles 68th. And our next date is downtown LA this weekend. Oh, and that's we where it is. To, yeah, then March 26th, we're going to Texas. And then we're going to Denver. So, shit. Let's drop it low. It's a it's tour. Good. It's a tour. Yeah, it's a tour. <laughs> Come on, hey. Say, say hi to the camera. Hi, baby. So how you doing? Tell me your name, Moni. What school you go to? Devil Davis. Yeah? Yeah. What you gonna be when you grow up? Uh, Show your face. Haha. -ha. <laughs> what you gonna be when you grow up? Him handsome. Yeah, that's my baby boy. Uh, a rapper? You gonna be a rapper? That's yeah. right. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You get good grades in school, huh? I thought you very smart, yeah. huh? I'm right. proud of you, big dog. Hey, what's your name? Armani. Armani, hey. You better go, boy. Yeah, it's my baby boy right here. Boy. All right. Yeah, I'm going to call you back. Son. Look at my right. proud father right here. Go yeah, ahead. What's up? Uh -huh. Hell yeah, man. It's my baby boy. That's right. That's all I really rock with. Like you say, I separated myself, man. I separated myself. That's my only partner right there. That's Girl. right. That's all you need. That's it. <laughs> For real. That's it. You got the wardrobe changes, something else from the collection? Oh, yeah. This the uh, Every Plate Matters. See, I had the U.S. on. You feel me? Yeah. Uh, uh, this is more of one of my other homies' brands. You feel me? They say at the uh, Mama Mall, Carson Mall. Yeah, they be looking around. You just actually look up the Instagram, though. But, That's yeah, player. Man, that's two right here. Every play matters. I don't care what it is. It matters. That's right. The bag, it matters. You that, feel me? There yeah. it is. So, yeah, every play matters, man. That's what's up. All right, hold on. No jewelry thing. Like my uh, interview I did with Cali Finest Radio, I believe. You know, um, no jewelry thing. You see, I ain't got no jewelry. It's like I'm representing too for the community as well. You feel me? And a lot of people can't afford. You feel me? A lot of the things that they see people when they out here doing crazy, reckless shit to get shit, you feel me, that they're seeing on TV, they're seeing that people have. So I'm one of these rappers that's out here, you feel me, coming out here, you feel me, uh, with the people. You don't never see me like wearing a lot of, I have the jewelry. But, you know, I'm like, I'm moving with my people, some people that, you know, yeah. like, you know, the slums. You humble. Know, you know, uh, humble. There it is. You feel me, because everybody can't put three or four BBSs on their neck and rings on every fingers or you know nice been, respect yeah right i'd have been See there you i rocking had it with and i been there and i lost it the man shit is nothing. it <laughs> come and go it's all in the heart girl. i can walk in and shine the same way but you are the jury let them know that that's what it show. is you are the you jury show. you walk like an angel angel yeah. had no jury on angel shine there it is walk in the room and shine <laughs> there it is but no jury that's, that's gonna be out here for mo that's right you feel me 
you gonna see me move with my people in the community. I'm why should I have on eight chains and this guy don't have on nothing? There it is. Feel me? So but he, he ain't got on nothing. Shit, I ain't wearing nothing. Let's go. There it is. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you could just rap something, yeah. do something. No, it's a, it's a photo studio. Oh, it's a photo studio. Yeah, like, cool. It's, it's so like, you could perform? No, you I, could act? I, I, I could do something. I could okay. do something. No, I got jobs. Okay. I know she got a radio or something there. Be there. And. Hey, man. Yeah, that's her right there. Go back to the uh, Tommy. We're going to talk okay. about that. We're going to talk about the. Say, say any celebrities I dated, our daughters. <laughs> man. Yeah, man, Tommy, I, I dated her. You can edit that. Too. Yeah, we're going to edit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I dated um, the Green Ranger daughter. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Tommy the Green Ranger. You know what I mean? Tommy the Green Ranger. I ain't going to say her name, though. He got a couple daughters. Nah. But they know, everybody know, man, you know, I dated his daughter. That was, like, epic to me because I can honestly say, you feel me? Even that time, it didn't even seem like it, you know. I grew, everybody grew up off the Green Ranger. You feel me? Green Ranger, Tommy, see, uh, man, White Ranger, you feel me? Everybody grew up off the Tommy. So me actually being able to chill with him, he played my music willingly and not me telling him about my music, him actually just looking at my music and looking at my name, like knowing my songs when he pulled up. Mm -hmm. Like that shit was epic, man. Being a fan. Man, being a fan. Fan man. of it's a like, fan. I'm a fan of a fan, man. It's like I grew up off this dude is an idol, man. Like this dude is like really like a legend. Every gangster, everybody grew up off Tommy, you feel me? Especially right. in my years of my time, everybody grew up Tommy, the White Ranger, the Green Ranger, he was the Red Ranger, you feel me? Everybody grew up off Tommy. And me to actually be sitting in the room with him and on a couple of occasions sitting in his house, you feel me? The chilling by his pool. Legendary. I'm like, man, the sky the limit. There it is. I always remember that, man, the sky is the motherfucking limit. I mean, if it ain't been done, we the first to do it. There it is. You feel me? That's it, that's all. I know that for a fact. And that's another thing, like, I be seeing little signs and stuff in life. Been around a lot of people like Pac-Man and Gunman, Compton AV. These are people that I used to listen to scrubbing floors at work. And then actually the next year, not knowing these dudes is in my phone. Mm -hmm. like, you know, Solo Lucci, you feel me? Feel there it is. You feel me? All that shot of my nigga Solo Lucci, my dog. You feel me? Like, this shit is epic. Mitchie Slick. Like, this shit crazy. Like, Who can you say help you get to this point? Um, it all started from the game. Mm hmm Fucking with the game and DM. Made some changes and shit. Hollered out and told me some things. Some politics got involved to where he like, well, I'm gonna shoot this to Jada Kiss. Mm -hmm. Boom. Got in line with Jada Kiss. Boom. Mm -hmm. Jada Kiss introduced me to Sauce Walker. Boom. They introduced me. Then Fat Joe hit me like, man, Jada, you know, I like that shit y'all be doing and hey. shit. And this is not no shit that like you can actually like, I can go on my phone and. And show y'all right now, like me, Fat Joe, line, you feel me, and line, like, feel me? Try this for There it is. Yeah, look, look, look Fat Joe. The one thing I like a lot of people do, they cat, man. Everything I do is like a food. Receipts. Y'all see that right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my shit kind of fucked up like that. <laughs> yeah, you see that, there? It is. Yeah. yeah. That's epic, like niggas there ain't it is. Jump, niggas ain't jumping no Fat Joe live. You go to Fat Joe lives, he only he only talk to the best. There it is. Stay safe, most of all, peace, bro. There <laughs> it is. Yeah, we're over from there. You see Fat Joe? Yeah, that's my partner. That was him on his research. Yeah, you feel me? No middleman. Yeah, middle go man. ahead. Yeah, man. Shout out my boy Buster, man. You feel me? All right. Everybody started a lot of dudes from the East Coast and shit, you feel me? Like, they, they support the West. I don't care That's what right. people think or whatever shit. I got a lot of people supporting the West Coast, you feel me? Neo. I don't know, Neo, I don't know where Neo from. That's mm -hmm. my boy Neo. That's something else I want to talk about. Yeah, me there and Neo is. got some shit jumping, too. He shared my little shit not too long ago. And that shit was crazy, too. Epic. Epic, you feel me? That's what I'm saying, man. Me and Neo getting it jumping. We got a lot of shit going on. You got some heavy hitters in there. Yeah. What you gonna do? You the next heavy hitter? Come yeah, on. I'm trying to make it. I'm trying to make it work. I'm to Let them know, big dog. No, man. We get to it, man. We get to it. Yeah, we there it is. That, when it comes to business line and contracts and all, you know, put those in life. That's yeah. right. I ain't, I ain't signed nothing music wise. Everything is off street creds and you feel me. Good image, good name. You feel Reputation, me? face right. card. It would go a long way. I mean, you always gonna have haters and people gonna say certain shit. 
raw, you the mass of it. Right. You feel me? <laughs> right. And that's facts. Yeah, it is. All right. Talk, man, talk, like talk, talk about these tattoos. Oh, man. Face tattoos. My tattoos, said yeah, basically, my tattoos came. I was a big little Wayne fan. Like, I told you, I was, I'm from LA, but I was, I spent a lot of time in Texas and towards Louisiana. You know, Louisiana is like 33 hours from Texas, like Vegas to LA. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So, uh, yeah, shit. You know, I spent a lot of little Wayne fan and Young Money and shit like that. So, I really did really grow up on this Snoop Dogs and, uh, Dr. Dre, I know the, the real songs that everybody knows, you feel me? But I didn't, I really never listened to them like that, you feel me? I grew up with like the high boys, Cash Money, you feel me? Everything over there, BG, Turk, shit like that. But I'm really, 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 really from the West Coast. Everybody that know me, that know me, they know. <laughs> there <laughs> it is. And they can't take LA from me. So. Which, which tattoo mean the most? Uh, my son. There it my, is. My son right here, his birthday somewhere right here, you feel me? So my son, mm -hmm. baby. You got a main artist or you just got a bunch of artists? Uh, what you mean? Tattoo artists. Oh, oh, I got Michael Jackson. I'll show you right now, but I had to take my sweater off. I got Michael Jackson. I had to get Michael my shit. I'm big Michael Jackson. All time favorite? Yeah, there it is. Jackson, and who, who do these? You let anybody do them or you got uh, one? Yeah, I got jail, the okay. homies, the shops. <laughs> that nigga locations. <laughs> <They're> locations. <laughs> jail, some of them jail tattoos, some of them shop tattoos. My homie Tiny Popeye, rest in peace. You feel me? He, he did a lot of my shit. And I had a lot of gang whack outs. He was one of the niggas that came like, man, I'm gonna sit down and do all this shit and cover him up for free. Like, there it is. That shit on your body. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So shout out Tiny Popeye, rest in peace. You feel me? No. There it is. Shit. Texas is like your second home, right? Oh yeah, yeah, man. I spent a lot of time, a lot of time in Texas and shit. You feel me? And I did the business. Shout out C now, Don Vesta. You feel me? I did the business. You feel me? Uh, that's the new song we got. We got that. We got uh, making moves. Shoot. So I just reached out. You know, like I said, I spent a lot of time. You know, my father out there and shit. You feel me? So I spent a lot of time out there. You feel me? When shit went more, I ain't in school and shit. You know, I had to go out there and shit. You feel me? So when I was out there. I, So, the question is, <laughs> let's talk about relationships. You talking to anybody? You single? What's the word? Oh, uh, shit, man. Hey, I don't have that. <laughs> 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 I don't have that. All right, let's talk about, <laughs> <laughs> let's go back now, to. relationships are cool, though. Hey, shout out to all the people relationships have that yeah, with the red background, that's what I was thinking yeah. about. Valentine's, I'm like, oh yeah, let's talk about this. <laughs> he like, shit, which real, which one? No. Nah, <laughs> right, right. All right, well, if not relationships, let's talk about family. What's yeah. going on with that? Oh, family is dope, man. Family is dope. Me, I was like a bad, not bad. I can say bad. My kid, I can't say bad. You feel me? But uh, I was, I was just a kid that was raised in this environment, so I was. Like everybody else, you feel me? Grew up in gang life and shit. So Who'd you look up to most? Mom, dad, uncle? My mama. Mama? Yeah, my mama. She yeah, my is. mama really put it all to work for me. My mama and my granny. Yeah. It's about my granny. Cause my granny made her. My granny made her do shit. And then, <laughs> you feel me? So my granny really first. Then my mama. There it is. So that's fast. And my granny really raised me. Yeah. 98 for me. Shout out to everybody. Granny's still alive. Yeah, fact. In y'all life. That's important. These grannies these days ain't shit. Facts. Facts. 
Be our age. My grandma's from Arkansas, man. My grandma did it dope. She was one helping everybody the whole block. Like I'm from, I'm from, uh, from a hood called Main Street. You feel me? And my granny was like my uncle, Psycho Mike. You feel me? Uh, Kool Aid, Dale Dog, all them kind of like circled around my granny. Ice, Ice Mike is one of the preachers over there. He, my granny actually taught him how to preach. You feel me? There it is. And he's a real known ex Main Street. You feel me? He's a preacher. Now. Mm-hmm. That's right. You at church? You got you got a home church? No, I got a home church, but I know the Lord for sure. There it is. <laughs> you feel me? I know the Lord for sure. My granny was a preacher, so she's had a pulpit right in the middle of the living room. There it she's is. had a Sunday school right in my living room every Sunday as a kid. There so, it is. Yeah, I know the Lord. I know about all of that. <laughs> I know you whoop your ass. That's the Lord. Amen. <laughs> you, know, about, you know, maturity comes with it too. Mm-hmm. It's all like growth in the mind. There it is. Feminist 